Okay, we have a decent model with some data cleaning performed. Uh, I want to point out that if you've been following these videos in order, I've removed the uh, clip values pill because when we were going through data cleaning, we tried that to remove outliers and it didn't add any value to our model. So I've eliminated that one and uh, my split data, I meant to keep that at 0.5% like we had before. Okay, so our trained model pill, again, is the one that is going to determine how important each of our features are, determine their weight. However, because each feature is on a different scale, and also because uh, actually th this automatically standardizes our scales, so that's not the issue. The issue is that we have dummy codes and we need to understand how the entire categorical variable rather than individual dummy codes is impacting or influencing the uh, accuracy of the model. So we want to eliminate any features that are having very little predictive power because by including those, we increase the likelihood that we're going to overfit our model, which means that we'll get evaluation metrics that will be higher than they truly will be for future data because our model is too custom fit to the data that we have. So we're going to use the permutation feature importance pill. So uh, feature selection is the task we want. And there's two of these. Uh, we'll save filter-based feature selection for another, another case and we'll use permutation feature importance right now. Let's see if I can move everything all at once. There we go. That's what I meant to do. Come on. Don't do that. There we go. All right. So permutation feature importance has two inputs. Uh, the first one here on the left says it wants a trained model. So it wants the feature weights and y-intercept that we came up here with the linear regression. So we'll connect that right there. The other side wants the test data. So test data comes from the split data pill on the right side. This is our training side. This is our testing side. Pull that in right here. And the, uh, the way that this pill works is it's going to build, it's going to grab subsets of our, of our 1,338 records. Uh, and it's going to, actually, no, sorry, of our 669 records from the testing side. It's going to grab uh, uh, a lot of subsamples, and it will continually score the model against those subsamples. And what it'll do is it'll see how much the fit metrics change as each feature is included or excluded from the model. And as it does it that repeatedly, we call that bootstrapping, as it does it repeatedly, it, uh, it gives us an estimate of the overall importance of each feature. So if we take out something like smoker, you'll find that our our uh, R-squared value, our coefficient of determination, and our RMSE, those values will change a lot when we train models with and without smoker. But other variables, like, um, well, we'll find out, like perhaps region, have a much smaller effect on changing model fit when we include them or exclude them. So that's what this pill will tell us right here. So I'm going to go ahead and submit our model, and this one will probably take a little while to run. So I'd recommend working on something else while this is... Uh, while this is running. Okay, I want to leave this um, this error in the video because this happens to me all the time and it's easy to uh, wonder what's going on. I brought this pill in and I connected it properly, but what I didn't set were any of the parameters. So first of all, this is not the problem, but I want to set a, a random seed to one, two, three, four, five, just like I have with other random seeds so that we all have the same results. Uh, however, Right here, this says the metric for measuring performance. So when I talked about how this, this tool works by bootstrapping a whole lot of subsamples to see how much the fit metrics change, I, uh, I forgot to come in here and say, well, let's choose which fit metric we want to do that with. So accuracy, precision, recall, these are all uh, fit metrics that are associated with, with classification models, which is not what we're using. We're using a regression model, which means that these next five are the relevant uh, fit metrics that tell us how accurate and useful our model is. So uh, you can choose any one of these. I'm going to stick with coefficient of determination, or R squared. And uh, thankfully, everything else been, has been run. So when I run this, it shouldn't take very long. OK, let's see what we've got here. Right click on permutation, feature importance. 
and let's examine feature importances. Feature importances. Okay, so what this score tells us is how much each one of these features affects the R squared value if it's taken out of the model. Smoker has the biggest effect. So these numbers can be compared, they're relative to each other. Smoker will drastically hurt or reduce our predictive accuracy if it's removed from the model. Similarly with age, and then there's a large drop down to children. So smoker and age tell the biggest story then children, region, BMI, and then sex. Now, how do we decide which ones to cut out? There's not a hard and fast rule on this. Sometimes you'll actually get features that have negative scores, and you'll clearly want to remove anything that's negative. That means it's actually hurting model fit rather than helping. And uh, the other important thing to note is that we should only remove them one at a time. If you have, let's say, three negative features, don't remove all three, because when you remove one, feature from the model, it affects all the others because there's intercorrelation among all the features. So uh, looking at these, sex appears to play a very, very small role compared to all of the others. So I would remove sex from the model by coming up here to the select columns pill. Uh, edit columns, delete sex, save, and then I'm going to submit the whole thing again and see how much my r squared value changes now if you remember previously r squared was about 76.1 percent so let's see how much it goes down okay let's see how this looks okay uh it changed these just slightly but not a whole lot um, those scores, uh, especially the first two, look strong. Children's good. I don't think we necessarily have to remove region and BMI. I know they're only 1% compared to these, but uh, they're 1% is large enough that typically I would keep that. So let's see what happened to our R squared score here. Okay, it drops slightly from 76.1 to 75.9. That is not a significant enough drop that I would be concerned about keeping, uh, what was it, sex out of the model. So this is how we use permutation feature importance to, uh, to, to choose which features to keep there.